As many as four tornadoes touched down across Iowa Monday evening, two of those struck the southeast Iowa communities of Seymour and Centerville. In Seymour, the school suffered extensive damage, especially to the gyms, where the roof was ripped off of both of the old and new gymnasiums. Police say that the school building itself also suffered extensive damage, especially to the second and third floors. The Seymour School District canceled classes on Tuesday, and they have yet to announce plans for moving forward. Nobody was inside the school when the storm struck. While many students still gathered at the school building on Tuesday to help with cleanup efforts, they were seen in nearby fields picking up insulation and other debris. Nearly 100 people were evacuated immediately after the storm hit Seymour because of a natural gas leak. They stayed overnight in an emergency shelter. The Red Cross has set up a shelter in the community center. Hy-Vee food stores in Centerville, Sheridan, and Corridon are grilling burgers and hot dogs free of charge for those that are affected by the storm. Power is out across much of the town and most of the roads are blocked due to downed power lines and other debris. Thankfully, though, no injuries were reported. The residents of this home say that they were inside the house when the tornado struck last night. They say that the storm was moving so fast that they were barely able to make it through their basement door before the tornado struck. A large portion of the roof was ripped off while the attached garage was also leveled. Friends and neighbors were helping the family pack up their valuables and their perishable foods while they waited for the insurance company. Meanwhile, in Centerville, officials are cleaning up after a tornado-worn storm also struck that community. The storm caused extensive damage on the south side of Centerville, especially surrounding the industrial areas of the town. A number of businesses were damaged across the south side, especially Lee Container and Wells Vehicle Electronics. Diana Roberts was inside of Wells when the storm hit. She said supervisors moved everyone into a storm shelter about five minutes before the storm struck. It was scary. It was very scary. Our supervisor, Steve Spurgeon, had the alert come over the phone to tell us it was a warning, and we had to uh, our shelter, and he made sure everybody was in there. And the other supervisors, too, everyone made sure everyone was safe. Uh, very good, you know, for us that we have such good supervisors to make sure we're safe. But you heard it come in, and it just literally, you could hear the roof coming off, and all the things that were going on and but thank god we were all safe and the parking lot looked like a war zone when it was over with when we got to come out but there was cars just i felt so sorry for those people there was steel beams on the cars there was cars thrown into other cars windows shattered the inside we had to walk through the inside of the building to get out and it was just insulation people place things everywhere power was cut to around half of centerville residents Crews were on scene in both Centerville and Seymour trying to get the power restored. Some residents report being told that it could take up to three days to fully restore that power. One home just south of Ottumwa lost its roof after a tornado-worn storm moved through the county. The National Weather Service in Des Moines has survey crews in the area today to help determine the strength of the storms. Thankfully, again, across the state, no reports of injuries as a result of Monday night's storms. For Ottumwa Radio News, I'm Nick Davis.